oligarchic madness, famines, revolution, and guerrilla warfare. Those are but just a few things that plague the Brazilian popular republic. That sounds like an excellent place for me to play and lose my sanity in mostly. Today we'll make sure that you visit Brazil before Brazil visits you. In case you're wondering, this is Red Flood. You know, I play this mod all the time. I'm, I'm the Kaiser Redux and the Red Flood mod guy. You know, I feel like I'm a, I'm one of the small sized Voy4 YouTubers that's only focused on uh, mods. All the other people are like, oh, achievements, oh, I don't know actually what else can you do with the base game it fucking sucks sometimes man but yeah whatever it is that they're doing they're doing that i just want to play mods and i want to get artillery helps me slaughter innocent civilians from a distance apparently we also need carrier fighters i'm gonna tell you already i'm never building that because that's for the navy and that's gross i'm not touching a boat i'm a hoi four player you know we motherfuckers do not get close to water spontaneous decombustion when we touch those showers and here we go we can in essence decide what kind of socialism we want to go for i want to go for vanguard socialism mostly because we end up getting a lot of flames wars yeah i like that oh we are currently also vanguard social no, no wonder it's a hellhole okay that makes a lot of sense then oh the outcome of the first council we stayed vanguard socialist very important. Let's make sure to purge everyone else now in celebration. We shall enact an enormous and violent purge across Brazil that would make the NMAPD blush. I bet they'll be jealous of us. And the chaos we're sowing. Well, we already purged and, and executed a lot of people. Why are we executing the opposition as well? Didn't we already do that? There you go. After slaughtering our dissidents, oppositions, we have now killed off all the landowners. And make sure to steal all of their stuff. There we go. We've also given pretty much every single citizen of Brazil PTSD. And I promise you, if you visit us, you will also get our lovely little version of PTSD. Though if you don't, I might come visit you. What the hell is this? State of tomorrow. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I like that. I might play as a state of tomorrow at some point. Did not know they had a focus. It might be also time for us to make some more units, actually. Now that I think about it. For any potential expansion, what we might be doing, huh? We need to make sure that people visit Brazil, even if they can't afford flight tickets. And what better way is there to become, well, to visit Brazil than to become a part of Brazil? I don't think about it. Do we actually have any decent generals? A brilliant strategist, of course. How could I ever have doubted that the glorious nation of Brazil would get to get a red army or something? Okay, Brazilian red army why not and even better yet it's almost january 1938 which means the foreign policy will be unlocked and we can go for pacifism and cooperation and protect everyone just kidding i'm gonna murder everything i come across there we go we get a research slot that's definitely why i'm gonna go for that and definitely not um securing the south murdering argentina the andes wars yeah looking forward to seeing what i'll do to them and here we go uruguay prepare to meet your maker and there we go uruguay let's go i'll show you who you're supposed to be a part of a little hint it's me please enter montevideo that should be pretty much the end of the war right and then after the indestructible wave that we're creating we'll go for strangulation of argentina oh well, they even have a navy i can steal screening ships lovely now same for argentina well oh no i forgot i did the indestructible wave now we go for that and oh yeah i have more than enough at the men oh yeah i added good now that i've added it in annihilate okay obviously argentina has taken us a bit more time to break through but i'm seeing fracks already form beautiful oh they're going on the offensive now that's interesting good luck keeping up the pressure though okay so they kicked us out of that town never mind then they do have a supply hub in here which i'd love to have i will preemptively make a nice little road to here i can make a level two it's how bougie i'm feeling oh there we go we're about to crush him we're about to crush him just hope no one reinforces it in time they did reinforce in time just in time too let's do another cute little attack on this boy right we should be able to strike at them Mmm, sort of. We're kicking them out, but they're gonna 
They're gonna reinforce in time still. It's the only tile that's supplying them. I, I have to have it. Okay, never mind. I'll wait a little bit longer. It's okay. Oh, here we go. Once more. Like seventh time is the charm or something, right? They're, they've stopped attacking us non-stoply. We, we made it. Keep them in check in here, please. In here as well. And uh, these guys as well. While we march through, right? And we encircled what is it seven troops that's pretty impressive in fact we can stop the attack in here now same in here we didn't catch everyone that we wanted but seven is more than enough for a country like argentina i don't think they have that many units right yeah they have less than two full stacks that's a sizable chunk of their army gone forever they'll never see their family ever again man and i know that might seem fucked up but have you considered yeah i don't know what i was gonna say with that consider something okay because i'm considering these nuts on your face, Argentina. As soon as I connect my uh, supply hub, of course. I don't really need it, I guess, but should have great supply line connections now. Let's attack, see what happens, right? Seems to be mostly green, followed by very green. And here we go, we're even about to take an air tile for some reason. I'm not really using an air force, because it doesn't matter to me. But at least they can't use, uh, well, they still have airplanes up, but less. We're so close to the capital. Damn. Probably the closest supply line. Oh, no, actually, right next to it, we have a supply line, which we just took as well. I will connect it up because we need the tile next to their capital if we want to connect it up properly. But this will do just fine anyway. I've almost lost half a million men. They definitely won't be able to keep this up, man. <laughs> Not at all. Honestly, at this point, yeah, just be a bit more aggressive, man. This is antique territory now. Oh, no, we got an encirclement. Well, as in someone else encircled us. Oh, we're about to. Yep, there we go. We freed him. Thanks to one tiny little last stand. And now we get to steal everything that Argentina owns. Thank you. But we're not going to stop here, of course. Oh, we need 500,000 on the field. My bad. I think my next target will be Chile. Let's put my unit on the front line, right? Currently, I might be a bit lacking. But as soon as I have, like, enough, I'll, I'll pump them out. That'll be that. Let me pump them out right now. It's, I don't quite have enough. Put anti-air in, despite us not having enough for anti-air. We might, yep, there we go, that's exactly what I wanted. We might have enough to do the focus. We got it, and now let's get the final one as well, right? While we go to war with everyone around us, starting with Chile. <laughs> they're not, yeah, they're not gonna last long. Look at that. Already cut in half. Oh, they're already dead, never mind. I got 15,000 guns. Exactly what I need. Well, actually, I prefer the artillery because that's what we're currently lacking. Next up, Bolivia, Paraguay. Because they're one item now. I'm guessing Bolivia won the war. They puppeted them. All right, let's declare war on both of these, huh? He was well, buddy. He might be his puppet, but that doesn't mean that you can get away scot-free. We need both of you under our control permanent. Get quarters as well if you want to. It says we can take a national focus, but I think we're out of it. There's nothing left for us to take in here. I guess except for the continuous focus, but we don't really need that. How's Bolivia looking? A little anemic, but that's okay. I'll take good care of the country. Don't worry, buddy. Thank you for the land, though. Very much appreciated. Next victim. I mean, target. I mean, friend that we're going to make. Oh, what the hell? I never saw that. Why is it so long? Let's use trucks, yeah, to transport our supplies for better access or something. I don't know. Because we're lacking supplies massively pretty much everywhere. Let's just, you know, jump in. Annihilate these boys, huh? They speak Spanish. That is disgusting to me. But it's gone, the focus. What the hell? Uh, maybe only when I'm, you know, not at war will it come back. We're so close to Lima. Let's get it. They're almost dead. No! Don't let them reinforce that. Give it to me. And they're dead. And I get boats. Dude, I wonder how many boats I have at this point. Show the boats. That's a sizable navy. We even have a pride of the fleet. I ain't never built a little boat in my life. Almost a hundred even. God damn. Okay. That means we're, we mean business, pretty much, I think. Oh yeah, it's gone. The whole secret focus that we had. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're, we're here to make more victims happen. I mean, friends. Let's go to war once more. Got to do the attack pattern thingy. There we go. Doesn't matter. We instantly crushed them. We'll have them all killed before we can even do the, the, the destruction of the first French. Um, French. Spanish language, I'm sorry. No, oh, is there anything even left? Let's go to... Quito. <laughs> I love saying that badly. Pretty sure I completely butchered that name. Quito. But it sounds soothing in a mentally handicapped way, saying it like that. Oh, there we go. Let's kill f the... No, I keep saying French. The Spanish language. In one place. Let's go crush Colombia next. 
boom, could have decent supplies at this point. Yeah, we pretty much do. They're not fully optimized, but I don't care. I really don't care. Also, the first time I've actually played in South America, where the combat did not feel like a slog. I'm just crushing everything on my way. And even more ships. Ooh. I gotta check how much I'll be left with boat-wise by the time I'm done with this conquest. This endless, endless conquest. Venezuela is all that's left, man. And let's go for Venezuela next. Boom. Attack. I don't know if we have any claims. Yeah, we don't have anything on the UK or the Netherlands in here. Ooh, thank you and thank you. Now let's check out how many boats we got these days, huh? I'll have to convert some more people, please. I know what? I'll cheat in the Spanish. Uh, well, 300 more PP, so I can click this one. See if there's anything cool that happens um, after we convert everything. And there we go. We have converted everyone. Everyone has come to Brazil and South America. The focuses sadly don't seem to come back that we had in here. So, bit of shame, but it is what it is. Oh, and Russia seems to be fighting the road front. It's very interesting. But that is not my fight. We've done pretty much everything that we can in here. So with that, I would like to say that this is pretty much all the time I have left for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you did. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. And uh, hopefully, you have a nice day. Bye-bye.